Now, I think this is a bit of an overkill, but I think it's the only way to get it done. Uh, to keep it nice and tidy, that is. As you can tell, this is the Modbus relay, and look how much uh, she needed to do and print to make it actually usable, because nobody wants dangling wires, right, out of your relay. So, the usual enclosure style that I do, okay, I got this RJ45 to 8-pin splitter adapter, whatever you call it. I got, like, strain relief that I'm using here, because uh, one is enough, and that allows me for extra space for this little uh, block. So, yeah, I am also uh, using the same strain relief that I used in the first prototype. And obviously everything's being controlled using an Ethernet cable. And yes, some of you did make a comment that I could use the uh, smart socket thingo and maybe use it with Modbus, but mainly on Wi-Fi. The aim of this project is A, uh, to have fun with all of this, to design something for my um, DIY home automation, and number three, and oh, this is the previous one, and number three, just uh, just enjoy the process, really. And uh, okay, this is I also printed the lid, and this is the previous one that I did. And as I already probably mentioned, it has two uh, spots for the strain relief for the cable, and one in the back that makes three per side. That's too much again, overkill. And so I will probably not be using this because this requires all the four wires, right? The power is in the plus, the minus, the A and the B for the Modbus. While this has all sorted all in one, right? So I get to use the Nexus. Uh, yeah, so this should be going on here. And that's it. That will be the entire uh, module for just having a relay working. Jesus Christ, help me. Oh well, it is what it is. Thanks for watching.